the cotton stuff, the new stuff that we've been talking about. But I'm going to let him carry that last one out. About time. I know that's the last bag we got. Running, running low with a prototype. <laughs> high cotton, baby. Is that the high cotton? Yeah. Yep. It's a, it's a total, being able to have cotton seed that is flowing through, you know, gravity feeders is totally different. You know, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas has not reinventing the wheel. Cotton seed's been, you know, very successful out there. But the problem mm -hmm. is when you bring it into south, Mm -hmm. You got humidity and, and most people are running gravity feeders and they're not running, you know, cotton baskets. But we have come up with a formula that will flow through, you know, boss bucks or, trough, you know, you can put it in a trough. I can't wait. I can't believe that. You know, it's middle of September and we're going to be out in Mississippi. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you better bring your, your bug spray, yeah. <laughs> broad heads, and hope for the best. <laughs> grains come in is so that it'll be able to flood but you can see right there's your protein baby yep. see cotton does seed. it have does it have that's actual cotton seed yeah does, so, but is it coated with because it smells like it's got maybe licking girl or mint or mint licking girl not it. bad larry yeah. <laughs> not bad so the actual process is you know our lick and grow mineral mm -hmm. so we have figured out a way with some just a light some molasses mm -hmm. to give it some extra flavor but with that, we're able to coat our lick and grow minerals on the cotton seed. Well, so you're, it's adding mineral to the feed too, because I was like, man, I know I smell it. So our goal was a all-in-one food source. With cotton seed, you're getting high protein. With the roasted sunflowers, you're getting high protein. And then being able to put the minerals on there, that's giving you the protein, the fat, and the minerals. It's the all-in-one food source.